Before we begin, I just want to let you know, because of my Japan trip, the channel's going on break. I'll be gone from November 1st to December 5th. So don't worry, you know when I'm coming back. Be patient, please. I really need this trip. Spaghetti a la carbonara. A delicious creamy pasta dish made with parmesan, eggs, and guanciale. Except that's not what we're making. The pasta we're making is a more decadent version of it. This pasta dish, while carbonara inspired, it's its own decadent. I got it. My mouth is watering so much I can't even say the rest of the line. Okay, to make the pasta, I have a separate saucepan which we'll use to make the sauce and a pot full of water which we will set over high heat. So while that comes up to a boil, let's begin to work on the sauce. To medium high. And once our saucepan heats up, add five ounces of diced pancetta. If you can't find it, use thick cut bacon or stop being lazy and actually go out and find some. Mmm, this pancetta is so good, I can still smell the farm it was slaughtered on. Okay, once it crisps up a bit, let's add about five or four cloves of minced garlic. And fry it for about a minute. And we're gonna deglaze with two thirds a cup of white wine. Make sure you scrape all the good bits off the bottom. All right, once you do that, add about a third of a cup of heavy cream. And uh, cook off most of the alcohol. And while that cooks off, let's salt our water. Most of the alcohol cooked off, let's add half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Do it in batches, that way we do not get a really bad lumpy sauce. Okay, when it reaches this consistency, turn up off the heat. Now, if you joined me for the previous episode, you know that I made fresh homemade pasta, parpadelli specifically. Now, you can use dry box parpadelli, but if you're using fresh pasta like me, this only takes one minute to cook. So let's add them in a few at a time. And like I said, this is only going to take one minute to cook, so stay focused. All right, using a pair of tongs, transfer our pasta into the sauce. And if it gets some water on it, don't worry, we actually want some. Now let's add the remaining batch. Whoa. Oh boy, that's bringing back a lot of awkward college memories. Okay, this batch of pasta is ready. Give everything a nice toss. And finally, lay it up. Top it off with a little freshly cracked black pepper and dig right in. Sure, I'll attempt an actual pasta carbonara sometime in the future, but I gotta eat this, it's starting to congeal. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meeting it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. If you don't understand why this is so ironically funny, check out the outro of the last video I made.